Hey everyone, my name is Adam, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fully restore the Legacy Display Control Panel applet in Windows 11. Let's get started. Now, before we begin, I'd like to mention that damages can be done to your PC by doing this, so I'd recommend backing up all your files and or make a system restore point in case anything goes wrong and create a backup of the system registry. I'd also recommend trying this on a virtual machine or on an older PC that you aren't using first. So I just want to say that I'm not responsible for anything that goes wrong to your PC and please proceed at your own risk. So before we start, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as it helps out the channel a ton. Now let's begin. First, you need to download the required files which will be linked in the description below. After you've done that, you'll need to extract the folder to gain access to the files. Next, open the Take Ownership Registry Files folder and double click the Add Take Ownership to Context Menu Registry File to open it. So you can double click it like so, then click Run if you get that pop up, click Yes, click Yes again, then click OK. Once you've done that, we need to open the Import Display Registry Files folder and double click on the Add Display to Control Panel Registry File. So double click it like so, click yes, click yes again, and then click OK. You'll get an error, but that's normal. We'll go back to that later. So we're going to click OK. Once that's done, you need to click the box here and type the following location. Percent, system, root, percent, and then hit enter, and then it will be taken to the Windows folder. So we need to scroll down until we find the system32 folder. So we're going to right click on it and take ownership of it. Now this is important because we're going to be taking ownership of the system32 folder and by doing this we'll be taking ownership of the display.dll file and the display.dll.mui file so we'll be able to restore the legacy display control panel applet. Alright so once you've got the user account control pop up click yes and then you'll see this command prop window pop up this is normal just let it do its thing until the window closes. Alright, so now that we've taken ownership of the System32 folder, we're going to go to the registry and fix that error that we got when we were importing the Display Control Panel Applet registry file. So we can close out of this window, and we can go to the search icon, or you can click the start button and type registry editor, or you can type regedit. So we're going to hit enter, or click the best match, and click yes on the user account control pop-up if you get one. Now that we're in the registry editor, we're going to click the bar right here, and we're going to paste this location, then hit enter. And then we're going to right click on the main key and we're going to click permissions. We're going to click advanced, click change, and then we're going to type our username. So you can view that by clicking the start button right there and you can see the username right there. So I'm going to type my username. Then you can hit enter or click OK. And then we're going to click add. And then click select a principal. Then type your username again. And then hit enter or click OK. And then we're going to click full control and make sure these two are checked. Then click OK and then click this box right here and click this box as well then click apply then click yes then click ok click ok again and now we've taken ownership of the registry key so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to locate the instance key and we're going to click the drop down button right there and then click the key that says init property bag right click in any open space click new and click expandable string value and we're going to rename the key to resource dll and now we're going to go back to the root of the key. So we're going to click info tip and we're going to copy this value right here. It starts with the percent sign and it ends at the last L in the dot DLL. So once you've copied that, click cancel or click OK, either one just to close the window. And then we're going to go back here and then you can double click on the expandable string value and then paste in the value right there. Then click OK and then we're going to right click on any open space again, then click new and then click dword 32 bit value and we're going to rename it to resource id then hit enter and then you can double click on the dword 32 bit value and set the value data to 65 then click ok or hit enter and we're all set now we can close out the registry editor so after we've closed out the registry editor we're going to go back to the folder that we downloaded from the description below and we're going to open the display dll folder first we're going to copy the display.dll file so you can do that by clicking either Control plus C, you can either right click on it, and click the copy button right there, or you can right click on it, click show more options, and then click copy. So after we've done that, we're going to click the box right here, and we're going to type the following location, percent system root percent backslash system32, and then hit enter. And then we're going to look at the display.dll file. So you can either go to the search and type display.dll, or just click in any open space and type on your keyboard display dll or just display and then we're going to rename the old display.dll file to something along the lines of display old.dll or display windows 11.dll but you should rename it to something that you'll be able to tell that it's the old display.dll file in case anything goes wrong and you want to restore the old display.dll file 
So I'm going to rename the file now, so I'm going to right click on it and then click the rename icon or you can click show more options and click rename and then I'm going to rename it to display old.dll. You can hit enter and then if you get the user account control pop up, click yes and there we go. Now you can right click on any open space here and then we're going to click the paste icon or you can click control plus V and then we can click continue on this prompt here and there we go. Now we're going to go to the folder that we downloaded from the description below and we're going to copy the display.dll.mui file. Now you can copy the file by clicking Ctrl plus C or right clicking on it and clicking the copy icon or you can right click on it, click show more options and then click copy. So I'm just going to click Ctrl plus C to copy it and then we're going to go back to the system32 folder. So now that we've gone back to the system32 folder, we're going to locate the en-us folder. We can do so by clicking on the box right here and typing en-us or just type on your keyboard en-us. And there we go, we've located it, so we're going to double click on it to open it. And then we're going to locate display.dll.mui. And you can locate that by searching it in the box right there, or just by typing in any open space, display.dll.mui. And now we're going to rename this to something along the lines of display old.dll.mui, the same thing we did before. So I'm going to right click on it, click the rename icon, and rename it to display old.dll. So display old.dll.mui. Hit enter, and then if you get the user account control pop up, click yes. And there we go. Now we can paste the new display.dll.mui file. And if you get this prompt, click continue. And there we go. We've now pasted the new display.dll.mui file. So now we can close this window and we can open the control panel. We can do so by either clicking on the search button or the start button. And then in the search box, type control panel. Or you can type control. And then hit enter or click on the best match, which should be control panel. Once you've opened the control panel, we're going to click on either appearance and personalization or hardware and sound, since this is where the display control panel applet is located in. So I'm going to click appearance and personalization, and then I'm going to click the display control panel applet. And there we go, we've successfully opened it. Now something you will notice is that if you click on either adjust resolution or change display settings, it'll redirect you to settings. But there's a way to bypass that, and I'll show you how to do that. To do that, click on either the search button or the start button, and then type command prompt and then click on the best match or hit enter. And then you're going to need to paste this command. And then hit enter. And then the legacy adjust resolution page should open. And I'm going to show you that everything works. But first, I'll show you that everything in the main display page works. So we can minimize the command prompt window and we can go back to the main display page. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the size of the title bar is being changed. So we can do so by clicking on the drop down menu right here and we can set it to whatever you'd like. So I'm going to choose 15 for example and then click apply. It'll say please wait. And there we go, we can see that it successfully changed the size of the title bar. So now I'm going to show you that the screen resolution on your PC can be changed. So we're going to go back to the adjust screen resolution page, and then we're going to click the drop down menu right here beside resolution, and we're going to set it to 1280 by 1024. So I'm going to click apply, and there we go, we can see that it successfully changed it. So I'm going to click keep changes, and then I'm going to set it back to the default resolution, which is 1920 by 1080p. So I'm going to drag it up, and then I'm going to click apply. And there we go, it successfully changed the screen resolution back to 1920 by 1080p. So we're going to click Keep Changes. And I'm going to show you the screen resolution can be reverted to whatever resolution it was set to before. So I'm going to click the drop down menu right here. I'm going to set it back to 1280 by 1024. I'm going to click Apply. And then I'm going to click Revert. And there we go, you can see that it works. So that's the display control panel applet in action and how everything works. So. The next thing I'm going to show you after this is how to restore the task links. Now this can also cause damage to your PC, so if you're just satisfied with the display control panel app of being restored and you don't want anything else, then you don't have to do this step. It's optional. But if you want to go for the looks, if you want to fully restore it, then follow this next step. So we can close out of the control panel now, and then we're going to go back to the folder that we downloaded from the description below. We're going to double click on the optional shell32 files folder. And then we're going to copy the shell32.dll.mun file, and then we're going to click the box here, and we're going to type the following location, percent, system, root, percent, and then hit enter, and then we're going to scroll down until we find system resources. So, once you find the system resources folder, we're going to right click on this folder, and then we're going to click take ownership, and then click yes on the user account control pop-up, and then the command prompt window will pop up briefly and then it'll go away after. So now we're going to open the system resources folder and we're going to locate the shell32.dll.mun file. To locate the shell32.dll.mun file, you can either click in the search box and type shell32.dll.mun or you can type on your keyboard shell32.dll.mun or shell32 until you locate the shell32.dll.mun file. So once you've located it, we're going to right click on it 
And then we're going to rename it to something along the lines of shell32old.dll.mun or shell32windows11.dll.mun. But for this example, I'll just rename it to shell32old.dll.mun. So we're going to do that and then hit enter. And then on the user account control pop up, click yes. And then we're going to paste the new shell32.dll.mun file. So we're going to click continue. And there we go. Now paste it in the new shell32.dll.mun file. So we're going to go back to the folder that we downloaded from the description below. And we're going to copy the shell32.dll.mui file this time. So we're going to click the box right here. And we're going to type the following location. Percent system root percent backslash system32 backslash en dash us. Then hit enter. And now we're going to locate the shell32.dll.mui file. So again, you can either click in the search box and type shell32.dll.mui or you can just type on your keyboard shell32 or shell32.dll.mui to locate the file. So we're going to right click on it and click the rename icon or you can click show more options and then click rename and then we're going to rename it to something along the lines of shell32old.dll.mui or shell32windows11.dll.mui and then we're going to hit enter. So for this example I'll just rename it to shell32old.dll.mui and then I'm going to hit enter. And then if you get user account control pop up, click yes and there we go. Now we're going to paste the new file. So we can right click in any open space and click the paste icon or just click control plus V. And then on the pop-up right here, just click continue. And there we go. We've now pasted the new file. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to close out of the window right here. And then we're going to open a new process of file explorer. Now this will be important for the next step. So we're going to click on either the search button or the start button and then type task manager in the search bar. And then you can either hit enter or click on the best match. We're going to click more details. And then on the Windows Explorer process, we're going to click Restart. Now that we've restarted it, we can close out the Task Manager window. And then we can go to the Control Panel by clicking on either the Search button or the Start button, and then typing Control Panel, or you can type Control, and then just hit Enter or click on the Best Match. And as you can see, we can already tell that it's worked, because under Appearance and Personalization, it's restored the Adjust Screen Resolution Task Link. So we're going to click on Appearance and Personalization, and as you can see, it's restored the task links. The make text and other items larger or smaller and adjust screen resolution task links have been restored. And if we go to hardware and sound, you can see that how to correct monitor flicker refresh rate has been restored and they all work too. The only problem is that it just redirects you to settings. But other than that, that's how to fully restore the display control panel applet in Windows 11. So thanks for watching. Hope this video helped you out. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like my videos, share them with your friends, and let me know in the comment section down below if this worked for you. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.